An application note is available on this topic with complete and detailed instructions. Find it on the Festo homepage. CPX API EP parameter AOI read and write function. Read parameter from AOI. We are going to read the value of the actual IP address of CPX API EP head module. To perform the read function, note down the ID and instance value from web portal. Enter the required input parameters to perform the read function. Enter the slot number. Enter the parameter ID based on your parameter. Enter instance and read write option. Finally toggle the input execution from 0 to 1 to perform the read operation. Once the read function is done successfully the function status will update in status tags like STS done, STS busy and STS error. You can find the feedback value in IO data byte array. Ensuring the IP address value are as like target device. Write parameter from AOI. We are going to write the value in setup monitoring load supply of CPX API IO link master module. To perform the write function, note down the ID and instance value from web portal. Enter the required input parameters to perform the write function. Enter the read write option. Enter the slot number. Enter the parameter ID based on your parameter. Enter the parameter instance based on your parameter. Enter the byte size of the parameter. Finally toggle the input execution from 0 to 1 to perform the write operation. Once the write function done successfully the function status will update in status tags like STS done, STS busy and STS error.
CPX API EPIO link parameter AOI read and write function. IO link master port configuration. Make sure PLC is disconnected from CPX API EP head module during variant parameter selection. Power restart the CPX API EP module to activate the new configuration and reconnect CPX API EP module with PLC. Select IO link variant based on your target device process data size. Enter the username and product key to login inside the portal and configure IO link channels. Note IO link device parameter details from target device user manual. Enter the required input parameters to perform the read function. Enter the read write option. Enter the IO link master count. Enter the port number. Enter the index. Enter the sub-index. Finally toggle the input execution from 0 to 1 to perform the read operation. Once the write function done successfully the function status will update in status tags like STS done, STS busy and STS error. Note IO link device parameter details from target device user manual. Enter the required input parameters to perform the write function. Enter the read write option. Enter the index. Enter the byte size of the IO link parameter. Finally toggle the input execution from 0 to 1 to perform the read operation.
Cross-check the right values using Festo IO Link software. To cross-check the feedback values find the IODD file from IODD Finder. Search for the IODD Finder in Google. Open the Festo IO Link tool and import the IODD file of the target device. Search for the CPX API EP head module from catalog box. Drag and drop the head module into topology window. Go to online with the parameters and upload the parameters from the target device. CPX API EP Diag functions. Enable the AOI and status tags will update the status of the AOIs.
Status of the PLC Diagnostic Array and Web Portal when there is an error message. Status of the PLC Diagnostic Array and Web Portal when there is no error message.